Hi, everyone, and welcome to the final Ape into Arbitrum AMA for this week. Actually, we only have two more days left of this campaign, and I'm playing some catch up with the prizes. So sorry, you guys, if you're still wondering who won the the big prize from Just Bet after this AMA, I'll, I'll go and announce that. But yeah, thanks for your patience with that. And also, thank you for your patience. I think we're just waiting for the Buffer Finance team to come in. And although we didn't announce it, uh, the audience here today will be uh, eligible to win some surprise prizes. So we thought it would be fun to just keep it a surprise. So, yeah, we're going to be talking with Buffer. They are an exotic commodities options protocol. So, again, another options trading platform on Arbitrum. Very curious to see what their specialty is. And I think that they have probably the most unique opportunity because we've already spoken with Dopex and Dolomite yesterday. So now they can kind of let us know and they have the last laugh, right? Where they can have the final word about why they're the best. Um, but they have uh, a massive 8,888 piece nft collection pretty unique for such a finance heavy and uh, you know pretty in how can i say like pretty intense trading platform to have be so intertwined with uh, an nft collection the nft collection has so much utility involved so i can't wait to talk about that and i think we have one member from the buffer team here with us today ck I think you're at a speaker now, so the floor is yours. Thanks. Uh, give me just a second here to share in our channels. I'll take over in a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, no problem. And just a bit of a preview for you guys just waiting. Um, Buffer also recently did a big transition from BSC to Arbitrum. So be curious to talk with them about that. And especially curious since obviously at Across, like, we are multi-chain and we deal with a lot of protocols that are multi-chain. So just curious if they're planning on expanding again back to BSC or to other chains in general to see what their cross-chain plan is looking like. But yeah, I hope you guys are, are big options traders in like our from our cross audience. Cause yeah, we've been going hard on the options platforms these days. I feel like we all got to be experts by now. All right. I shared with, with everyone in our community. So yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Hi. Thanks for having me. I am, yeah, thanks uh, for stopping by. I'm Stefan. I'm the social media manager for Buffer. So I'll be representing our platform here today. Our devs are very busy. So it'll just be me. Yeah, I can imagine and like going through all the docs and yeah, you guys seem to have quite a few different um, trading capabilities that are available on Buffer. And I think we can just get started with that. Uh, I have made myself familiar, but can you let our audience know what Buffer is and sort of, yeah, just the different investment possibilities that you guys offer? So Buffer is, as you said, an exotic options platform. At the moment, we offer binary options, so very simple um, up-down type deal. You select your uh, time frame between five minutes and four hours, and your assets say you think that Bitcoin price will go up over the course of the next five minutes. So you just select direction up and five minutes, um, put in your stake, however much you want to risk on that on that prediction, and if you're right. You get immediate payout after five minutes. Once the timer runs out, you make up to, uh, no, at least 70% profit. The NFTs um, have an effect on that. I will talk about that later. So um, we currently offer crypto pairs and a bunch of Forex pairs. The commodities we added initially, we're looking at a better price feed at the moment before we bring those back and then... Um, we're collecting a lot of feedback from our traders, which kind of assets they would like to see. Um, there's been indices have been mentioned, adding more commodities. Um, 
some altcoin pairs, more forex pairs. So whatever our traders demand most, uh, we will add as long as we find a good price feed. So what kind of uh, commodities are people kind of asking for? And, and out of curiosity also, one of my questions for later was which other Forex pairs uh, the Buffer team was looking to support. So I guess no time like the, the present to ask that. Good transition. Uh, for now, we have silver and gold. So um, the big ones, more precious metals, oil, um, grain, uh, beef, and um, stuff like that. So, so the big ones that are mostly traded. I would like to see some very exotic stuff like um, energy prices. You you can get pretty decent price feeds for those. So really exotic ones. Mm. So far, yeah, really just collecting feedback uh, from from our traders. There's on the forex side. There's a lot of uh, demand for naira, which I think is a Nigerian um, currency. So for now we have also the the big ones. I'm I'm not a forex trader myself, so many of these pairs don't really tell me anything. But currently we have. Let me bring it up here real quick. So yeah, euro, uh, British pound, uh, U.S. dollar pairs, of course, uh, Japanese yen. Uh, Australian dollar, yeah, these are New Zealand dollar, I think. These are the ones we currently have available. Okay, gotcha. And with all the, uh, it seems like we can't even predict the weather, right, for the next day. So a lot of probably big opportunities, but yeah, a lot of risk maybe as well with the with forex if because I'm not also not a forex trader so I'm not too sure but it sounds like a lot of fun to say the least. Um, yeah, trading forex is a lot of fun. Um, I I do trade a bunch on buffer, and I trade very short time frames. So the five minutes um are are the ones I usually choose. I would love to do one minute, which is going to be added, I think this week. Because the, the five minute options there are too stressful. Like I, I can't step away from the chart. I have to watch it. And these last couple of that last minute when you know when it gets really close to turning the trade around again when you're uh, when you're already winning or looks like you might lose on that last week. That's that's extremely stressful. Very fun, but very stressful. So one minute options would be would be ideal for me. And the great part about the forex and crypto pairs is the crypto pairs are very correlated. So Bitcoin goes down, Ethereum goes down with it. The the setups you find in the charts uh, usually look very much the same. So having forex as an alternative there, where you have a very different chart setups all around, mm, it's very exciting. So you can just uh, browse through the charts. Uh, find a setup you're, you're, you find interesting and, and take your trade there. I have lots of variety to, to choose from. Cool. I just wanted to also uh, remind everyone that it wasn't announced, but we will be giving a surprise giveaway to a few of our audience members today. But I have noticed that maybe there's some folks that are visiting from other community. If you do want to be eligible for winning this prize you do need to be following our across twitter account so that i'm able to dm you that you won otherwise it's such a nightmare um so just wanted to throw that out there for some of the people that are just joining in and then uh back for stefan i have a, a question because you said that uh, you, you'd prefer to have more or like to see that buffer has more exotic commodities come out um we can move on from this subject but just out of curiosity since it's sort of like the tagline on your Twitter profile. Uh, what is like the most exotic commodities that you currently have available? That shouldn't be our tagline. <laughs> like <and> commodities <laughs> aren't, aren't available at the moment. Uh, so we, we only have silver and gold. Um, we had them, as I said, we're looking for, for better price feeds on these and they will be added back in. Also, why is it so difficult to get the price feeds for these? Well, 
it's very simple for crypto because um, there's lots of on-chain crypto derivatives trading already happening. There's lots of demand there. Mm -hmm. um, it's the, the same Oracle problem as with anything else. Getting real world or real world market data on-chain at the uh, frequency that we need it for for these mm -hmm. uh, short-term binary options mm, is pretty pretty tricky. Okay. So same same with stocks, uh, same with indices. It's uh, one of the larger unsolved problems in, in DeFi: how to how to get these prices on chain effectively and and have them available at high frequency and constantly. Everyone's waiting for Chainlink to launch their uh, low, low latency derivatives Oracle solution that seems to be a bit delayed. So we're making making do with, with an in-house um, Oracle at the moment. Mm -hmm. I wonder also too, I'm not sure. I know that the UMA optimistic Oracle, which is what Across uses, is not that great for lending, but I wonder if there could be any sort of help with that, but that's like a different conversation, but that's also like another option that I think maybe a lot of people tend to not know about. So yeah, we should definitely talk about that after. Oh, like, like, like Uma? Yes. Ah, yeah. Well, let's talk about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not, now, but, uh, not now, yeah, but I'm just yeah. thinking out loud if that would be really cool if it could solve that, if that's like a, a, a problem. Um, but otherwise, Maybe. yeah, we can mm. move, move on to the, the next question that I had for you. And that is, can you tell us a bit more? I think I teased a lot about the Buffer Prime Club. I was kind of hyping up Buffer Finance about this exclusive club. I'm also really keen to know more about it. So can you, yeah, can you let us know what that's all about? Sure. Buffer Prime Club is our... As a gated community, you need to own one of our NFTs to be part of it. We're currently recruiting uh, educators, technical analysts, active traders who will basically be ambassadors for, for this community. They will teach people how to trade, share their setups, provide educational content, uh, all that kind of stuff. And with the development of the NFT side of things, and there will be heavy integration with Buffer Prime Club as well. I'll talk about the NFTs more later. Uh, at the moment, they're fairly basic in terms of utility. They just have uh, payout boosts on all the pairs. But as we expand that into custom tournaments and sponsor tournaments and stuff like that, um, Buffer Prime Club will also get um, first access to those, of course. So for now, if you're an owner, you can join our uh, gated NFT channels, talk to our traders, talk to our analysts, really learn how to use this, yeah, pretty exotic product we're offering. But I don't think many people are familiar in DeFi with binary options at all. Mm, many people treat them more like gambling, which isn't true at all. I've seen people be profitable very consistently and as long as you real, really dial in your strategy and stick to it and not just, you know, you can, of course, just make random predictions and get lucky. But um, you need to have a strategy and, and uh, wait for, for these setups. You, you identify that um, have a high chance of, of, uh, the, of providing the results you, you expect. So yeah, Buffer Prime mm -hmm. Club um, in development and we are going to launch our ambassador campaign very shortly. So stay tuned for, for that. Ooh, even more teasers. Okay, yes, this club is uh, very elusive and yeah, intriguing to say the least. So uh, thanks for giving us a bit of an overview. Um, as I mentioned too, while we were... Uh, waiting for your team to join in. Uh, I was talking about your uh, 8,888 collection, um, the NFT project Optopy. And I just wanted to know like how that sort of intertwines. Uh, you did kind of tease it a little bit earlier today. 
um, and how that intertwines with the protocol in terms from a trader standpoint, but also with I know that has a special utility case for the Buffer Prime Club too. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, we'd love to know more about that. Okay, so the NFTs, you, uh, you need to be an NFT holder to join Buffer Prime Club. So okay. they give the direct access. What they mainly do for traders, they are meant to be used by traders. They're, uh, you know, they make cute profile pictures, like you could see mine, and Nick has one. There's a couple in the audience. So they're cute little octopuses, but primarily they, they provide utility to traders and their core utility is payout boosts. So for Forex pairs, for example, for uh, British pound USD pair, the base payout is 80%. So if you uh, make a correct prediction and uh, you, you get 80% profit. If you hold an NFT in your wallet, then this, this payout, this base payout gets increased. There are four tiers to the NFTs, um, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. You can see the, the tiers very, very easily by the the color of the rings on the front two tentacles you can see mine it has gold rings so it's a gold tier you can see nix who has the the one with the red bandana he's got the blue rings that's the diamond tier nft so um the silver tiers grant 2.5 percent payoff boosts the gold ones like mine grant five percent payoff boost platinum is eight percent and diamond is 12%. So if you hold a diamond NFT and you trade the Forex pairs, instead of 80% profit, you make 92% profit, which is pretty significant. For, oh, for yeah. traders who trade a volume, this can um, convert into tens of thousands of, of dollars of extra profit uh, over the course of a year. And it can, can make the difference between a profitable strategy or breaking even or reducing loss so yeah that's their, their prime utility well interesting you know a couple months ago i was as a fellow marketer right kept thinking like okay how's the only way to get people sort of excited or interested in, in a new protocol that isn't really on a ton of people's radars this is just yeah doing some sort of consultation right for other protocols and yeah, I did. I was thinking like you need to make an NFT project. That's the only way to get people sort of excited and and create some sort of emotional tie towards what you're trying to build, um, and have like a visual put towards like your membership or dedication to the project. So since I've never actually seen that happen, and you guys actually did it, I'm so curious like what you think the benefits have been of that, and if you feel like that's been like a great success or if there's any sort of hurdles, like creating that sort of not paywall, but sort of like a paywall before being able to use the platform. Yeah. Um, wonder if that's been an, a deterrent for people at all. For using the platform. No, I'm, I'm pretty shocked and disappointed. And we, we run a weekly contest. So every week, um, yeah, the, the winners are determined. It's everyone who trades on the platform participates in the contest. And many of our top traders don't have an NFT. We have trader profiles. You can see, you, so you can see which um, trades everyone made in, on the leaderboard, what the profit is, and so on. Many of the top traders don't have an, an NFT or even use a referral code. So okay. referral code also around 2% payoff boost. So okay, sorry, maybe our... I misunderstood your, one of your previous points. I thought like everyone needed an NFT to trade. So that was a no, point no, no, I'd no. never heard before. Oh, no, that, that would I'm, be like, really shocked. <laughs> would be a major hurdle. But everyone who uses the platform actively is, of course, benefits from the, from the NFTs. You get return on investment very quickly if mm -hmm. you trade anywhere. So, yeah, if you, if you have um, 10,000 dollars worth of positive trade outcomes with the diamond t nft that's one thousand two hundred dollars extra profit right and so you get your money back very quickly what they also do or not at the moment but will do 
is give rebates for traders. So you pay fees on every every trade you make on Buffer, you will get part of that back. And when we introduce trading leagues uh, later on, at the moment we just have the basic contest where we will introduce a trading leagues. The NFTs will give also direct access to these leagues depending on the tier. So if you have a platinum NFT, you you can enter the platinum league directly, which is of course has higher price pools and and so on. For uh, community building and well branding, mm -hmm. the NFTs have been a great success so far, in my opinion. Um, what we need to work on is communicating this utility, yeah, because it's it's very rare in the DeFi space or in the NFT space in, in general yeah. to have uh, to have NFTs that which are like laden with this much utility. It's like four, five, six different points you have to cover. Mm, most people still who come across them probably still think they're just profile pictures somehow associated with Buffer. So the challenge is to to make very clear what what they actually are supposed to be used as. Yeah, but, I, feel, yeah. I feel your pain with that because you don't want to like keep shoving it down everyone's throat, but then <laughs> you do still want the message to get across. But yeah, it's a tough line that you have to kind of toe across of being like too repetitive, but also yeah, having that knowledge shared. Yeah, the, the exciting thing about the, the NFTs is that it's really uh, just the beginning and the initial utility the Optopy uh, collection and the community built around it will be developed into, I always call it a tangential product layer. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it'll, it won't be a, a standalone product, but there will be an Optopy treasury. There will be products on the buffer platform reserved for Optopy holders. What I want to build, I'm still looking for developers, is a kind of, I call it the octagon, you know, like the octagon, the MMA mm -hmm. ring, but for like a DeFi arena where you can host tournaments, host gated tournaments, newly launched projects. They could, for example, sponsor prize pools or ask us to sponsor a tournament to promote their project and then have that gated by their a product token, a project token, or their own NFTs. So everybody who maybe holds a Dopex, I'll take Dopex as an example, Dopex NFT could enter that that tournament and win the prize pool and you can have a nice promotional um, event around that. Then challenge mode, we, we want to go heavy on the gamification and on the uh, competitive nature of, of, of DeFi. So our leaderboards will eventually hold all kinds of um, indicators on, on who the best traders are and allow you to challenge them. So you would basically check the, the leaderboards for the day, see people who have a crazy win streak going on or, or are super uh, effective in, in trading a particular pair, and you can, you can challenge them and set a price pool and you know um, give them give each player, so to say, let's say 10, 10 five minute options on, on this particular pair and then you duke it out and whoever comes out on top wins the full price pool. Um, all these kinds of yeah, gamified aspects will be built on top of, of the Optopy collection. Well, that was, I think, the burning question for our uh, across audience was what is maybe one of the special difference and your yeah differentiating factor from the uh, two other options plot protocols that we spoke with earlier this week which are yeah dopamex and dolomite but i think it's pretty clear that you answered the question at least partially in terms of this competitive sort of nature of your protocol that i hadn't heard either of those two projects speak of so other than yeah, this like DeFi arena, which sounds yeah super fun. Is there any other points about uh, Buffer that you can mention that is like gives your protocol like the competitive edge? 
the, I don't even think we're in direct competition with platforms like like Dopex because they offer really vanilla options, and ours are, as I said, exotic options and and binaries for now. So you don't have to worry about uh, all this all the Greek letters associated with um, traditional options trading. It's very straightforward. You simply have to be very confident in, in your TA or use them as uh, hedging tools for, for other positions you may have opened. The, the very simple nature of Buffer, I think, is, is its greatest um, asset when it comes to, to competition with other projects and to attracting traders. Because the, there's a pretty big divide between the TradFi and the, the DeFi space when it comes to education on these on these more advanced financial products. The, the TradFi traders, the, the, the binary options market is huge. It's, it's trillions in volume. But the accessibility isn't there. And we want to make it as easy as possible to onboard people from TradFi binary platforms into DeFi. So offer them a, a familiar interface and as best as possible abstract away all the intricacies of, of using DeFi applications. So the it's, it's so unfamiliar. For, for DeFi natives, um, we've grown accustomed to bridging, using different kinds of wallets, um, all this stuff with you have to take care of in terms of security, making sure you don't approve the, the wrong token or the wrong contract, being always double, triple checking where you send funds to because there's no way to get them back. All this stuff, this extra risk and this, this learning curve you have to go through to start using DeFi effectively. We want to yeah abstract away as best as possible. There's one feature that's coming. I, I, I can't talk about it yet, but it'll make trading trading on the platform even easier. So you'll, you won't even have to worry about approving tons of transactions and, and all that. Wow. Yeah, I think that was a better question than we could have ever hoped. I'm sorry, better answer than we could have hoped for. So yeah, n not even in the same realm of competition with the other two. So in interesting and good to know. Um, I think one of the sort of talking points that you had mentioned on the Buffer Twitter was about real yield, which I yeah, really wanted to ask you about. I know we're sort of running out of time, but found it really interesting to see that uh, your stablecoin yields, uh, particularly for USDC, is as high as uh, sometimes historically was 20%, but some these days 15%. And just want to know how you're able to generate a kind of high yield and how it is real yield. The yield comes primarily from all the USDC yield comes from fees paid by the traders. Fees are accrued every time you open a trade. So the, the fees are paid up front. Um, currently, it's 15%. And by the way, that's how the NFTs work. The NFTs reduce that upfront fee in, in favor of a higher payout. So whether you lose or win your trade uh, has no effect on, on the fees being paid. As I said, they're being paid upfront. Our um, trade volumes are looking good. Uh, they're going up consistently. Uh, today we generated, or in the last 24 hours, we generated 5,500 USDC in fees. And these collected fees are split between uh, the people who provide USDC liquidity in our BLP pool and the people who stake our native token BFR. So that's where the USDC yield comes from. For BLP stakers, it's currently 15%. And for BFR stakers, let me check. For BFR stakers, it's 9.37% in USDC yield. And on top of that, you also get escrow BFR. If you're familiar with GMX, you know how, to, how that works. If you're not, 
escrow BFR is, well, an escrowed version of our token. You can put it in the vault and it will slowly convert into liquid BFR, which you can then sell over the course of 365 days. But yeah, all the, all the USDC fees uh, or USDC yield is gen generated purely from trader fees. So we don't spend any any of the treasury funds or anything to to keep those as high as they are. So as the fees go up, the APR will also go up. Yeah, I think that's uh, easy to follow for everyone, right? <laughs> but I think we are running yeah, out of time a little bit over. So really final question, just out of curiosity, any uh, cross-chain expansion plans, like seeing that we are across and we provide, you know, one of the fastest and cheapest ways to transfer value across chains. That is, of course, of interest to our community. So, yeah, I just wanted to see if there was any plans for that in the roadmap. Oh, definitely. I don't think if you, I don't know if you've seen the partnership announcement with MetaVault on Polygon. No, so I do not. Oh, no, no. Well, we're expanding to, to Polygon. MetaVault will basically utilize the, the buffer contracts and provide liquidity. And we will share the fees generated on the Polygon side because we are looking for a good bridging solution. Mm, because as you well know, bridging introduces extra risk uh, whenever there's like a multi-sig and um, locking and burning type system involved also looking right. at layers solutions. it's yeah effective bridging for the token itself for the nfts is is a is a major problem in 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 DeFi. we were looking at other chains of course as well um optimism and polygon would be the first ones but we'd like to have buffer available on all the major chains wherever there's traders and, and active communities, we want to be present. Oh, that's so yeah, great to hear. Um, and yeah, we even when you're talking about, you know, these five minutes sort of, of vaults that we can join into, I think uh, safety is also, of course, number one. But um, even the timeliness of these sort of transfers is super important. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some, mm -hmm. Yeah, something that uh, across is very known for, and we're not burning mint, so I think we covered all the bases there. But again, that's like conversation we can have later on. Um, yeah. Any other sort of like final words that you wanted to say about if people are maybe still on the fence about if they want to try buffer? Uh, what's like the the final sort of tagline to get people excited? The final tagline is just to try out the. <laughs> The protocol we have, um, if you visit the the dev page um, or testnet, we recently sh shared a tweet about the one minute options. Uh, the one minute options are live on testnet. So if you just want to play around, uh, try out the protocol, uh, have some some degen fun, just hop on testnet. There's the Arbitrum Gurdy testnet and Polygon Medic testnet available. You can just try out the platform. Um, yeah, and and see how addictive it is because the the feedback we get from traders is is mainly that it's it's really addictive. And I I wish I had more time to trade, but uh, my time is pretty limited. But every time I I, I start a trading session, uh, it's 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 hard to stop because it's um it's very exciting to to just watch the chart for a minute, have it edge very closely to to you winning. Maybe one tick over, one tick under, and these these final ten seconds, and they're always uh, always super exciting. So yeah, just hop on testnet, uh, join our Telegram or Discord. If you have any questions, just ask away. We have um, super committed moderators; uh, they will answer any questions you you might have. And currently, product wise. We're in a phase where we want to add as many quality of life features for traders as possible. So if you've tested the, pro, uh, the platform, have any kind of feedback, something you want to see, just drop a comment in, in the Telegram, in the Discord, or in the feedback channels. We're super quick to, to add new features. 
because that's what we're focus focusing on right now. So if you have any feedback, just let us know. And if we can add it, we'll add it. Perfect. What great ending to a really exciting uh, EMA. I really thank you, Stefan, for joining. And this has been yeah, end of week four for our Ape into Arbitrum campaign. As mentioned for our audience, we should have something surprise available for some of our yeah, audience members here, which we'll announce probably early next week. And also we have just two more days left of this campaign. So I will be announcing our uh, final two day guests uh, uh, tomorrow. So look out for that announcement. And other than that, I hope everyone has a great Friday. Happy weekend. And once again, I want to really thank the Buffer Finance team for coming in and sharing with us what uh, incredible opportunities for Forex trading and exotic commodity options trading that they offer um, on Arbitrum. And now we know also Polygon and potentially optimism in the very near future. So it's very exciting. All chains. <laughs> All chains, uh, yes. <laughs> for inviting me. Uh, thanks for hosting. I had a great time. Uh, happy weekend, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Okay, take care, everyone. Thank you.